sisters. Today we are going to discuss about the ongoing jihadi terrorism and the pathway to jihadi terrorism and methods we can take to prevent jihadi terrorism to save citizens from the onslaught of the brutal attack of the Islamists. Recently, during Christmas Day, a jihadi from Nigeria, he, hidden, he was hidden with a certain chemical to explode or blow up a plane up in the sky. Recently in Houston, a psychiatrist, a well-educated Muslim doctor, he went amok and took a gun and killed 14 people shouting Allahu Akbar. In Afghanistan recently, a doctor who killed nine CIA people without any provocation. So jihadi terrorism is nothing new. The jihadi terrorism was as old as Islam. They have been destructing civilizations, killing innocent kafir, eliminating all the cultural roots from Persia, Egypt, Mesopotamia, Babylon, Armenia, Argent all over the country, Persia and India. But more than 80 million Hindus and Buddhists and Sikhs were slaughtered by the jihadists for the last hundreds of years, and the world did not turn against Islam. But recently, when September incident happened and the destruction of the World Trade Center, the Western world start listening to jihadis and they start thinking what should, should be done to prevent such horrendous crime against humanity by jihadis. But the recent understanding of jihadi is not without any failure. The world, the intellectuals, the liberals, the phony secularists, and the uh, academicians, they fail to understand the root cause of jihadi terrorism. Why jihadis are like chameleons. And they change their color, their tactics, the methods, and their prey. Today they pick up some people in Algeria, tomorrow in Iraq, another day in Lebanon, another day in Israel and India, and all over the world they pick and choose and select their prey and the tactic they use. The world is changing now. The technology is changing. The only thing constant in the world is change. But Muslims refuse to change their constant hatred against infidels. From the time of Muhammad, they have been attacking infidels and the kafir, and they were killing and waging war against other civilizations. They were successful in eliminating or destroying other civilizations and forcefully converting innocent people into Islam. During the time of Muhammad, they used swords, club, and catapults, and stone against kafir. But now they have changed their tactics and methods how to attack non-Muslims, but their hatred against, the against infidels is still remain a constant. So when trying to understand the complexity of jihadi terrorism, the, we have to understand one of the oldest stories in India. There was a story of a seven blind men and the elephant. These seven blind men went to see an elephant. One fellow touched the tusk, one fellow touched the uh, trunk, another fellow touched the body, another fellow touched the tail. And the seven people described the reality of his elephant into different perspective. We know they had some part of the elephant correctly they predicted, but we all know that is wrong. So similarly, we have academician, we have politician, we have security expert, we have law enforcement agency, we have psychologists, philosophers, and theologians. They all study jihadi terrorism and give us a different perspective. Maybe part of it is true, but all of them are wrong. We have to understand the roots of jihadi terrorism is in Islam. It is as old as Islam. 
unless we understand in the exact the words in the Islam and what motivate Muslim to go against the kafir or infidel, we are not going to address jihadi terrorism.